natural disasters My baby has been around for me Came Let's get into this video. If you're watching this video, you probably believe that the market that you are in or are about to enter into is oversaturated. And you may be asking yourself, what makes my brand different? You may also be questioning whether or not your products are worthy enough or whether or not you are worthy enough as an entrepreneur because you feel as if everyone is doing everything and you don't know how you can possibly differentiate yourself amongst all that noise. I wanted to create this video just for you because I want to help you answer that question and I want to help you get rid of those negative thoughts of giving up or just all those thoughts that are really trumping your motivation to go down this great path of entrepreneurship. Let's first start off by addressing the oversaturation thing, right? The idea of oversaturation comes from social media, honestly. Before social media existed, no one really cared who was doing what. They really just cared about solving a problem for the end consumer. However, when social media entered the chat and people started to glorify everything and people started to share everything, now as a aspiring entrepreneur or a new entrepreneur, you're stepping into a space where you see bits and pieces of this, bits and pieces of that, and the facade that social media paints, it makes it seem like every single brand or every single person who decides to sell something is just super successful at it. So what piece of the pie can you possibly be able to take if all of these people that you're seeing on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube are so successful at doing the very thing that you want to do? I completely understand how frustrating and how draining and how discouraging that could be to see that type of stuff. I think when it comes to this oversaturation topic is to really just cut off social media for a minute and reflect on the true problem that you are aiming to solve. That's the first thing that you want to do. Like, don't worry about who is doing what. Don't worry about how successful they are or how sex successful they appear to be and just worry about the change that you want to make in people's life as well as the change that you wanna make in your life and in your family's life. It does not matter if the next person is selling something similar and is making $100,000 a month. You may not even need to or want to make that amount a month. You may be okay making $10,000 a month. So it's okay, it's okay to not aim for this gigantic number and it's okay to not compare yourself to what it is that you're seeing on the internet. So that's why it's important when it's when you're setting goals and when you're reflecting to just shut off all the noise and truly reflect on who you are and where you're at and what you want and also the impact of whatever the product or service is going to be or is and the impact that it's making on the end consumer. Oversaturation, in my opinion, does not exist when you take a step back and do that, but most importantly, oversaturation does not exist when you build a unique brand. However, the only way that you're able to build a unique brand comes from truly understanding your why behind everything. There were a lot of people doing similar things to what I'm doing, right? At least from the, the outside looking in. There were a lot of people who were doing the same things, teaching you how to grow your business, all the things. However, once I reflected on my own, like my own purpose, my own story, my own why, 
It was easy for me to differentiate myself from others. Not only that, but it was easy for me to connect to my people and for my people to find me. And I was able to grow a community, like I think, extremely fast. And anything that I did, honestly, ended up being a success, at least in my opinion, because I am not measuring up my success to other people. Neither am I worried about the race that other people are running. It's all about me and my unique value that I am bringing to my end consumer. That's what I care about. And because I care about those things, that's how I was able to see growth on social media platforms extremely fast. That's how I was able to see growth within my bank account extremely fast. That's how I was able to start checking off all these things off of my bucket list and, you know, traveling to places and doing all these things that I've dreamed of doing. I know that me saying, oh, oversaturation doesn't exist as long as you have a unique brand can seem kind of like, okay, girl, like, of course you're gonna say that. I want to give you some recommendations and I want to give you some tips. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to use these recommendations and these tips to start to answer that question about what makes you different. What makes your brand different? Um, how will you actually stand out in that quote unquote oversaturated market? And so the first thing that I want you to realize is that you have a story. Every person walking this earth has a story, whether it's a rags to riches story or whether it's a riches to richer story, you have a story. Reflect on that story because people need to hear that story. And not only that, but your story drives the end product. It drives the end brand that you are building. And not only do you have a story, but your products have their story their very own story. One of the things that grinds my gears and the reason why I focus on helping product-based businesses is because I feel like during the pop-up guru age, a lot of people just came out the gate and they started teaching service providers. And you know, I'm a service provider, so I'm appreciative for some of those people because I've had coaches. I've had coaches that have been in the game for years, but there were people that came into this space and they catered to service based businesses because I feel like it's easier to teach someone how to sell a service to someone else. It's more work to teach someone how to move products. Not only that, but because there are so many people in this space teaching all of these service related tips and steps and strategies that product-based business owners start to feel as if their products have like no story and it serves no purpose. And I'm here to tell you that your products have their own story. Your products serve a purpose. It is up to you to reflect on the origin of it. Reflect on what sparked your interest to create this product, manufacture this product, source this product, whatever it may be. What happened? What was the turning point? What change do you want to bring? And when you think about that, think about where all of that inspiration and passion derived from. So for example, you know, if you have a skincare brand, the reason behind that particular product, that Claris Blackheads may be because you struggled with low self-esteem and you tested different, you know, natural formulas until you found one that worked for your skin and then it boosts your confidence. And you know, this product has gone through phase one, two, and three, and now it's the most refined that it's ever been. Like, and it's, it's, it works on this type of skin and this type of skin and all the things, all of that go into your overall story and your product's story. So don't negate the fact that you have a story and your products have a story. And when you, Think about it, what makes your brand unique is the fact that the story that you have is unique. No one else is gonna have that same exact story that you have. And once you start to make decisions based off of that story and build your brand in a way that embodies that story, you'll see that your brand ends up being very unique. And the cool thing about stories is that it helps you connect to your people. 
People can easily identify with the feelings and emotions that you experience through your own journey, through your story that you're sharing, and they can relate to that. So although they may not have the same exact experience, they know what the feeling is like and they can relate to that. If you're struggling with figuring out your why and figuring out your story behind your products or this business, and you're finding that you have the tendency to copy others. Like you see someone doing something or you see someone selling something and you say, oh, that must be a good idea because she's making money doing it, so let me do it too. If that is you and you're guilty of that, it is time to stop. You need to stay true to yourself and true to your brand. Don't copy anyone else because the minute you copy someone else, is the minute you're going to be lost. <laughs> Run your own race. So here's how you can do that. Here is how you can build a unique brand. First, you want to reflect on the origin of it all. What made you want to create this product? Why this particular product or a line of products? What emotions did you feel when you were going through whatever you were going through to create this product? And just because you may not have experienced the problem yourself, maybe a loved one experienced it, or you knew a group of people that experienced it, you still should have had some type of emotion that drove you to create this product. So think about that. Think about your driving mission behind it. What do you want to change? What type of impact do you want to make? And then think about your values. What do you value as a person and what do you hope that your brand will embody as a value or a list of values when it enters the market? Or if you're already on the market, what set of values do you wanna make sure that your brand embodies? It's important for you to answer all of these things because just like we have unique personalities, right? And unique interests as people, your brand has its own personality, its own set of interests, values, and all of that as well. So another thing I wanna challenge you to do is think about your brand as if it were a person. What would its personality be like? How would it speak? How would it think? How would it look? Think of your brand as a person. And once you do that and you start to define that, you'll see that your brand is super unique. It's different. It's not like anyone else's. We know so many fast food restaurants, right? And if you if you know and you watch my videos, you already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> but we know so many fast food restaurants, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, uh, Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, Popeyes, KFC. We know all of these fast food restaurants. Can they say the fast food uh, industry is saturated? Probably, but did KFC care? No. Did Chick-fil-A care? Heck no. Instead, guess what? Chick-fil-A reflected on what made its brand different by reflecting on the origin, the why, the driving force behind everything, the mission, the values, and then they brought that to the industry. And now Chick-fil-A is one of, if not the leading fast food chain in America, right? And so when you think of Chick-fil-A, you automatically think closed on Sundays, you think Christian-based company, supreme customer service. You think all of these things about them because that's their unique brand. I don't know of another fast food place that has their people outside taking my order in the drive-through. I'm already being lazy in my car. And you're telling me that somebody's gonna walk to my car and take my order so that way it can move even quicker? So when the line is wrapped around the building, I literally have, I stay in line for maybe five minutes at a time. When the line is wrapped around the building at McDonald's, I'm in the line for 45 minutes. At Chick-fil-A, the line is wrapped around the building, I'm in and out in five minutes. It's a difference. And that's what makes Chick-fil-A different. That's what makes McDonald's different. And so reflect on that. Answer the question, especially about if your brand was a person, what would they look like, think like, speak like, 
value all of those things and i promise you that you will begin to shape a unique brand beyond measure i love to do activities like this with my clients when i coach one-on-one -on -one or even in my programs i love 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 to do various activities from problem and solution analysis to developing pmv statements for your brand to doing market research to dive in deep and actually like writing your brand story i do a lot of this on my one-on-one -on -one sessions and i talk about this in my programs because it is so important y'all and once you know how different you are it's like no one can tell you anything kind of like that overly confident person that you know in your life where you'll try to tell them something they don't really listen because they know they're the ish and nobody could tell them anything that's the feeling you get when you have a brand that's super unique that it doesn't matter I don't care if there's a hundred other coaches, a thousand other coaches, 10,000 other coaches, strategists, whatever. I'm different in my own way and I know exactly how I'm different. I know how I stand out. When it comes to any of the programs or any of the products that I sell, I know how they're different and I know how they stand out. And that right there is a level of confidence that I want you to be able to have. So I hope that this video was super helpful to you leave your thoughts down below let me know if this helped um you know let me know any other questions that you have and honestly if you want to dive deeper into this book a one-on-one -on -one with me let's talk about it let's get the thought of you quitting or giving up because everybody's doing it get that out of your head and let's come up with a game plan one-on-one -on -one. let's dive deep into your brand let's hash out your story your pmv statements let's do it together so i'll leave the link to my um one-on-one -on -one sessions in the description box i'll also leave the link to the e-hustle club which is my membership community if you want to join that instead you can check that out as well and i hope you love this video give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my next upload and follow me on instagram and tiktok at the brand hustler so until next time i'll see you later hustle babes bye